And our first section of the test, section 9.1, is about standard and scientific notation. So a scientific notation is when we've got a number between 1 and, some people say 10, technically 9.9 .9 repeating, times by 10 to a power. And we're going to use our Desmos tool a lot for answering these questions as well. Oops. We can get rid of all the previous stuff we have on here. And literally, I'm just going to type in whatever it says. So 2 times 10 to the 4 plus 7 times 10 to the 3. And I'm just going to put the parentheses in the same place. I'm going to have to keep flicking backwards and forwards. So 2 times 10 to the power of 4. And use my right arrow key there. Oops, and one more. Plus 7 times... 10 to the power of 3. And you can see it gives us the answer of 27,000. So I can start by writing that out. But notice the question says answering scientific notation. So I'm going to make this a number between 1 and 10. So if I put the decimal between the 2 and the 7, I'll get 2.7. And following that, there are four numbers, meaning I would put times 10 to the power of 4. Question two. It says, suppose the distance in feet a hockey puck travels in t seconds is given by the formula d equals 64 t squared. How far would the hockey puck travel after 1.5 times 10 cubed seconds? So notice they've given us the time, and we're trying to find the distance. So the formula that it gives us for the distance, it says, is 64 t squared. So I'm going to type in 64 t and squared. And then on the next line, I can just type in what is the value of t. So it tells us in the question that t is equal to 1.5 times by 10 to the power of 3. Times 10 to the power of 3. So we type in the formula we're going to use, we type in the value that we want to substitute in, and then this tells us what the correct answer is. So this is 144 followed by six zeros. So, one, four, four, oops. And like the previous question, we need to change this to scientific notation. So make it a number between one and 10, and then times by 10 to the correct power. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, times 10 to the eight. Now, what I did do on the last question, and I probably should have done is, if we think that this is the right answer, we should actually check to see if that is the right answer. So if I type in 1.44 times 10 to the power of 8, notice it does give you that same number here, so we can confirm that we do actually have the right answer for this. Question 3. The length of a side is 2 times 10 to the 5, and it tells you the formula is S cubed. So we know S is this number here, because it tells us that, and it tells us we're going to use the formula S cubed. So we're actually going to do this very similar to how we just did that previous question. We're going to type in the formula first. So S cubed. And we're going to type in the value of S. So say S equals. And it says S is 2 times 10 to the 5. Oops. 2 times 10 to the 5. And once again, it gives you your answer. And actually, this time, it actually gives it to you in standard scientific notation. So 8 times 10 to the 15. And just so you're aware, you could do this one by hand, but you don't need to. Remember, cube means multiply something three times. So 1, 2, 3. And then if we start multiplying in order, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And our rule of exponents is when we're multiplying, we add the exponents together. So 5 add 5 add 5 would give us 15. Now, if it's easier to do these questions as well, finding the S is kind of tricky. You can always just put X in for every question anyway, and you would still actually end up with the same answer. All right, question four. Light travels at a certain speed. How long does it take to travel between certain points of this distance apart? And we've been given a formula here. Distance is rate divided by time. 
Now the question says how long does it take, which means what we're trying to find here is actually time. But our formula says distance, so we should probably rearrange that straight away. So if distance, I could just use the first letter here as well, equals r times by t. If I want to find t, instead of multiplying by r, I could divide by r. So we're using our work for literal equations. Now actually rate isn't actually referred to anywhere within this question, but it does mention miles apart, which would be distance. And r therefore must be your speed. So if I'm plugging these numbers in, the miles apart is distance. And the rate is the speed, which is 1.86 times 10 to the 5. And I can type that into Desmos, and it would actually give me an answer. And then you can just make sure that your answer is in scientific notation as well. So with word problems, just make sure you read through it very carefully and you find the correct operation. And that concludes section one.